Hi, my name is Jonathan Sweetek. I'm the attorney with the Shannon Law Group. And our firm helps people recover from vaccine injuries or adverse events. And we do this by filing petitions for them in the Vaccine Injury Compensation Program. We're gonna discuss the Tdap vaccine and some of the injuries or conditions that are associated with that vaccine and listed on the vaccine injury table. Um, the Tdap vaccine is actually a combination of three different vaccines. The vaccination against tetanus, the vaccination against diphtheria, and the vaccination ag against uh, pertussis or whooping cough. Now, each of these vaccines individually were developed back in the 1920s, but today they're uh, given as a combination of, of three vaccines, both to children and to pregnant women. There are four injuries or illnesses uh, that are associated with the Tdap vaccine and are listed on the vaccine injury table. The first is anaphylaxis, or a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine. The second is serva, which is a shoulder injury related to vaccine administration. Now, serva occurs when a, the administration of the vaccine is either done in the wrong spot or at the wrong angle in your shoulder, and it causes inflammation of the joint. Now, that can uh, manifest itself as a tendonitis type injury, a bursitis injury, or a rotator cuff injury. Um, and usually it requires at least physical therapy, maybe a cortisone shot injection, and even in some cases, surgery. The third uh, type of injury is called a brachial neuritis injury, which is inflammation of the brachial plexus, uh, which is located up near your shoulder. Now, this can result in severe shoulder and arm pain and some chest and back pain as well. Now the difference between this and a serva type injury is with a brachial neuritis injury, you should have some kind of EMG or nerve conduction study findings of the uh, nerve damage done by the vaccine, which differentiates it from a serva injury, which is strictly just an injury to the shoulder joint. Uh, finally, the last injury uh, or illness associated with the Tdap vaccine is fainting or temporary loss of consciousness. Now, if you believe you've experienced one of these vaccine injuries or conditions, uh, you might be entitled to compensation in the Vaccine Injury Compensation Program. And how that program works is the, an attorney would help you draft a petition alleging that you experienced a vaccine injury. And making sure that your injury meets the criteria set forth in the vaccine injury table would entitle you to compensation. The way we do that is by drafting the right petition for you, getting all the necessary medical records that we need to help prove that you've experienced the injury listed on the table, and making sure that all the other evidence that we need is included with the petition for the court and for the government to make a determination. Now, assuming that you do meet the criteria set forth in the vaccine injury table, it's likely that the government will concede that you have a vaccine injury. The question then becomes, what kinds of compensation are you entitled to? That's where we would come in again and help determine how much out-of-pocket medical expenses you've incurred as a result of that injury, whether you've incurred any lost wages or earnings as a result of that injury, and what your pain and suffering is uh, that you've experienced while you were uh, treating for that injury. All of these things uh, combine to form what your compensation would become in the Vaccine Injury Compensation Program. At this stage, your attorney would advocate on your behalf for the compensation you're entitled to and try to work out a resolution with the government uh, on, on that number. If there are any disputes between us and the government, the judge is there to resolve those disputes and award you the compensation that you deserve. Now, throughout this entire process, you're not going to pay the attorneys anything. The attorneys uh, are paid through the program, through the same fund that pays out compensation for individuals who've experienced injuries. So at no point during the entire process do you ever have to worry about if, when, or how your attorney is going to be paid. If you or a loved one has experienced an injury or a side effect due to a vaccine, I'd invite you to contact us for a free consultation. We'd be happy to go over your options with you please call us at 312-578-9501 or click the link in the, in the description below.